as some of you heavy crafter crochet queens do, it's just a better idea to keep multiple hooks laying around so you always have something to work with and when you're ready to go back to your project, your crochet hook is already right there waiting. So sorry about that. My phone stopped recording because again, out of storage space. I have a bigger SIM card I need to put in my phone and I have a tech geek I need help on doing that with, but my computer has to get fixed. I don't have a piece of technology I can use to transfer files on whatever technology frustrates me. So um, I apologize for the way my videos come out and I apologize that I, I can't put cool little thumbnails and insert pictures here and stuff like that but some things some little things inserting pictures here and um, being able to put information on the screen and combining two videos together that is definitely something I want to do so I can make it easier for you viewers and I can make it easier for myself so again with the hooks I like to have multiple hooks and multiple sizes so I can keep them in my project bags and I can find another one of the same size if I need it and then what I like to keep my hooks in is this is from Dollar Tree. It's just a little plant thing. I, I love the color. And then I keep all my bigger I keep all my bigger hooks in here. And then I have a center one. I keep all my smaller hooks in, so it's easier to find what size I need. Um, I made this actually. Um, let me sh show you how I made it. I got these cardboard tubes from work. I used to work in a lot of warehouses. This is a plain guard cardboard tube. You could save a toilet paper tube, save your paper towel tube, especially if you have them this thick. And then all I did was I just wrapped it in duct tape. I took a piece of cardboard and I cut out a circle and I covered the circle and then I covered this in duct tape. That's all I did. Duct tape. Anybody can do this. This would be a great kids project. And even if, you, even if you wanted to, you could do like Krista did from The Secret Yarner. You can crochet a little swatch, a little like cup shaped basket or whatever. And you can slide this, you can slide this thing inside of that. And you can make it longer so you could tuck the yarn inside and then you wouldn't be able to see the cardboard inside. Just crochet it longer and then tuck it inside. There you go. I'll, I'll probably do that. I think that would be a, a nice fun idea to do. And then some, here's some other hooks I have in here if you're interested. I got these from Amazon. They came in a pack of three. These are big hooks. Like if I want to make a really, really chunky blanket real fast or a big chunky shawl. What sizes are these? Uh, 18 millimeter. I got a 15 millimeter and a 20 millimeter. And then I have this one came from Walmart. Um, I'm not sure what size this is, but it doesn't matter. I just find a yarn that fits with it and, and I improvise. And I have some Sharpies. I always need Sharpies. If I need to mark a box or if I need to, I have a Sharpie pin too if I want to sign something. And, and then this I use all the time. I bought this from a gas station. It's got multiple colors in it. You can also buy these from the dollar store. And I use this when I need to write a letter, or if I need to take notes on the phone, if I need to sign a card or something real quick. This is just handy with my hooks, and I have them all in here. And then in my smaller, my smaller cup, I've got a little pair of scissors. I also have a wooden hook here. This is a bamboo hook. It's a 5.5 uh, millimeter. I just wanted to try it, which I have not tried yet. That is an inline hook. And it has the pointed head on top. You see on my shirt? When I see a hook that looks like this, I buy it. That's my favorite kind, the pointed head and the inline shaft. And then if it's not ergonomic, you can get a pencil grip. I put a pencil grip on this one. I don't know why, I mean, I didn't have to. This is a six millimeter ergonomic grip. Um, these. These are just pencil grips, and you can order, I think this one came from Hobby Lobby in a set of four or something like that. You can use polymer clay and bake it in the oven as long as the hook is metal. Polymer clay. I did not make this hook. This came in a magazine set from Joann's. I showed you this in my other video when I went um, yarn shopping. Um, okay, there is another um, question on the tin hooks questions list. Ever use interchangeable heads? No, and I will not. Two more questions. Number nine, do you like projects that require small 
stainless steel hooks or larger hooks. I prefer larger hooks. I can't do those doilies. I can't do the tatting. My grandmother tried to give me a tatting crochet hook because I, I guess my great grandma Betty did that too. I'm like, man, she's got some scale. I can't work with anything smaller than a three millimeter hook. I have a 2.25 millimeter hook, but I haven't tried it. I'm afraid to because whenever I try to grip small, tiny, tiny objects, my hands hurt. I'm straining too much muscle and I'm irritating my arthritis and it's just, it's too painful. Sometimes I get that feeling mostly in my toe, in my big toe. Um, you feel like you've got like a warm pocket of air, like you just want to pop your toe. I forget what that's called. I think it starts with a G. I don't know. And then sometimes I get that warm sensation in my foot, like somebody's peeing on it. I don't remember what that's called, but that's weird. Um, sometimes you can get those feelings in your hands too, and they're not comfortable. Question number 10. If you were only allowed to use two hooks for the rest of your life, what size and brand would they be? Well, I pray that never happens. I never want to be limited to my crochet hobby. This is my passion. This is a huge part of who I am. I've been doing it since I was quite young. Um, I'm not an expert by no means. Just because I've been doing it most of my life, I'm no expert. I would consider myself to be an advanced, not intermediate, but at, on the middle tier, but advanced on that middle tier. So you got the beginning, you got the advanced, you got the intermediate. So I'm like advanced, but I'm like on the higher end of the advanced. So almost intermediate, I guess, because I've been learning a lot of stitches from Glenda. The more stitches you know, the more swatches you make, the more progress you get done, the better you become, baby. Just keep that hook moving as much time as you get. Um, so that was the last question. Um, what size and what brands would they be? So if I was limited, they would be these, excuse me, again, cheap ass ergonomic hooks that I got in a set from Amazon for like 16 bucks. Came with a zipper pouch, came with some um, darning needles, it came with a few stitch markers, it came with, it came with a seamstress tape measure. And um, I gave the zip pouch to my sister for her pencils. Um, it was just a cheap little bag and I've got so much, so many bags I can use, put these in. Um, so the brand that they have printed on this is, some of them don't have a brand at all because I ordered this one separately from China. You can order this in a pack of one, two, or three. It's going to come from China and take a while though. Um, this one says boy, B-O-Y-E. I'm not sure if you can even see that. You probably can't even see that. I'm sorry, I'm on a cell phone camera, so I'm sorry I don't have really good true autofocus, but it's B-O-Y-E. This one particularly is a J 5.75 millimeter hook. And if I don't have a six millimeter, I grab a 5.75. If I only have this, this is fine. So I would prefer my two sizes to be a five millimeter and a seven millimeter. The five is very versatile with smaller to medium sized projects. I like the five millimeter for the beanie hats and tighter stitched scarves. And I like the seven millimeter for thicker yarns for scarves and blankets, um, particularly the granny um, square stitch uh, or any shape, granny triangle stitch, whatever, the granny cluster stitch, you know what I mean. Um, those are my favorites. Um, so anyways, I watched a video by Gary from Urban Yarns. I will leave his link in the video. I'm sure many of you um, know of him already because he's been on here for quite a while. Any YouTube podcaster who watches his video got tagged, so I got tagged. And then I got tagged again by watching Jennifer's video from Cinnamon Stitches because she again said, "Any YouTube, if, you, if you're a YouTube podcaster and you watch this video, tag your it. So I'm like, okay, great. That's two podcasters I just got tagged on. I really need to get this video out. Because not only... Do I want to get this video out? It's fun. I love talking about yarn. I love talking about hooks. I love being able to exchange communication this way. And we're doing it with social distancing. We're all being safe, I hope, in our homes. Um, so there are, there were two people in particular I wanted to tag. Uh, I did not get the second person's name, but I will send her a message directly and tell her that she was tagged. She is fairly new. It's, I think she's maybe a little bit newer than me, um, but she, I think she's over in the UK, 
and she has a few ice yarns on baggings that she has done and she's worked up samples on some of those ice yarns too. She particularly loves the macaroon um, and she's working up a sweater in that right now. So I will um, leave her link in the description box below once I remember. And then the other person I wanted to tag is Nancy at She's Got Yarn. Um, I think she's a lovely woman. I really do. I, I like um, watching her videos. Her yarn is gorgeous. I love her personality and I like her voice. I just, I like sitting on the couch just listening to her. Um, I've got a wood burning candle going and I'm, I'm working on a project. All kinds of YouTube podcasters I watch while sitting on my, on my couch working on projects. Um, so tag ladies, you girls are it. So, um, do a video, please. If you want to, it'll be fun. I promise. Um, it's been fun for the rest of us. As far as I know, I've been watching a lot of these videos myself on the, on the crochet hook questions. So, um, oh, one last thing I wanted to show you guys. I've been busy so much today. Busy, busy, busy. Um, my friend finally came by. I've been asking him to put some shelves up for me. He is a professional carpenter. He runs his own business. Um, I will talk more about him in another video. If you are local to Oklahoma and you need some carpentry done, he is highly, highly, um, highly well trained and his work is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I wish I could show you some of his work. He is on Facebook, but I will mention him in, in another video. Um, I'm going to show you real quick the shelves he hung up. He, it's only s just two simple white shelves just so I could put some yarn on. I will gently swing you over there um, and and give you a look at that. And then, um, then I'm going to get off of here and say goodbye. So here we go. I'm going to show you this shelf. Woo, here we go. These are the shelves he put up. Just simple white shelves so I could put my yarn up there. is 24 inches across to pro approximately 12 inches from the ceiling. I've got Baby Twist in the black rainbow. Baby Twist in the white rainbow. I'm going to make blankets and more bags. I might make a rug too. I think a black and white striped circle rug would be cute. And then all my Picasso is up here. Pretty much most of my Picasso. Um... That's the bright rainbow, and there's the dark rainbow, and then I've got the turquoise and the and the pinks and the and the little bit of black, and then I've got the greens and purples and the black and blue colorway, and then I've got my Angora Active and the rainbow, and then I've got Lenore color and the purple and the blue colorway. I'm gonna make shawls and swimsuit wraps out of. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and end it here and say goodbye. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and bearing with me on my videos. Um, thanks again, and you guys have a lovely crochet day. <laughs>